Right, I'm doing a product review of an Anvil uh, ice maker and um, shaver. This is a, yeah, it's, it's a ice shaver as well. That's this little compartment here. This is a pretty large unit for for your house if you're looking to have your own ice maker in your house. And you know, for parties and stuff like that. Memorial Day is coming up, so I just got this for, uh, for probable use for you know for gathering and all that. But yeah, this thing is pretty impressive. It weighs about 40 pounds, so wherever you decide to put it, you want to uh, hope or you want to plan to leave it in that location. It also comes with accessories if you want to uh, hook it up to your water line. Um, I probably won't do that because I already have an ice maker that's hooked up to my water line currently, but it does come with adapters and everything, a water filter, uh, along with a water line to hook everything up direct to your, uh, your the water in your house. But you want to make sure that it is filtered. You don't want to use uh, household water from the tap. It's recommended to use spring water, which I happen to have a bottle of, and use that for making uh, ice and for demonstration purposes. But yeah, this is a very, very nice unit. It's rather large. As I said, it weighs almost 40 pounds. And it's an Anvil, A-N-B-U-L-L, -L, ice maker. And on the back side here, this is where the water in inlet is. When you have the water line. And this is where the cup would go for shaved ice. Of course, it comes with a scoop if you just want to scoop it out of the basket. But yeah, we'll do a demonstration of how it makes ice, and we'll. This is the compartment here where we'll shave the ice, for making slushies and stuff like that. And this is the ventilation. You want to definitely make sure that it's got good ventilation. There's nothing blocking the uh, airflow. It does come with the. Uh, you know, the plastic wrap this set is actually stainless steel color and I'll probably leave this on because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put this um, and I don't want to scuff it up or get any smudge marks or anything like that on it so yeah I'll go ahead and uh, get this camera set up I'm going to uh, pour the bottle of water in and uh, we'll start making some ice alright so I plug the unit in as you can see it's in the process of ice making, but I have not poured any water in yet, so I'm going to get the camera mounted here. And then I'm going to go ahead and probably go ahead and remove this basket actually. I want to make sure I don't overflow it. And we'll pour the spring water in. It's a little float at the bottom there. Let me get another bottle. So all in all, it looks like this could hold about three, maybe four, of these 16.9 fluid ounce bottles of spring water. And then we'll just go ahead and put the basket back in. We'll close the lid and we'll let it make some ice. And briefly while it's making ice, we'll kind of go over some of the instructions on it uh, before first use of your ice maker. Um, you definitely don't want to tip it more than 45 degree angle or turn it upside down. It could possibly damage the compressor or the sealed you know, refrigeration system on it. Um, and remove all the packing material from the unit, carefully check the ice maker, make sure everything is in good condition, which mine is. Just maybe some slight abrasions from shipping, you know, maybe down here in this corner, but it looks fine. Um, the ice maker should be placed horizontally on a level surface. Ensure the ventilation is, uh, allow for at least 150 millimeter of space 
for the ventilation of the air intake fan there. Uh, let's see. You don't want to put it near a heat source like an oven or you know, anything where something could get hot. Uh, of course, ensure the, it's got the correct voltage, which mine does. We use 120 volt here in the United States. And the plug works perfect. And again, um, pure water is not allowed to be used, or you don't want to use pure water for the simple reason that I guess the chemicals, maybe the calcium, you know, if you've got hard water, depending on your filtration systems or what chemicals they use for purifying it, it could damage the uh, units. So you definitely want to you know, use the filter in line with uh, the system if you want to hook it up to your uh, house water. And uh, you always keep the lid closed while it's making ice so it can you know, get cold enough to freeze the water and make the ice cubes. So we'll wait for ice to start being made and then we'll check it out. Okay, so after I added the water, I've already done that. Then uh, yeah, I press the uh, ice button and then it'll start sucking the water in, which you can't really see because I've got the lid closed. But yep, so now it's going to start making the ice. All right, the refrigerator just kicked on, so we'll let it do its thing. No, there's some ice cubes. Looks like they've already formed. That was actually pretty quick. go through a few cycles and get some more ice and then we'll we'll shred it. Oh, there's some bigger ice cubes coming. Nice. I'll let that do let it do it a few more times and then we're ready to be ready to shave some ice. Alright, next round of ice is coming. Might be enough to do some shredding or shaving. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think that's probably enough. So what I'll do is take the lid off here. Switch hands. Scoop some cubes in. Make some more ice. It says you can fill this up to the top, but don't overflow it where you can't close the lid. Probably a couple more. Yep, about it right there. And then we'll go ahead and put the lid on. There we go, locked in place. I've got the cup in position. So now we'll press the shaved ice button. cup of shaved ice. Nice. Well, I guess you have to manually turn that off when it's done. But yeah, that turned out really good. So you can add 
actually I've got some Powerade right here. I might go ahead and pour that in and make myself an orange slushy. That's excellent. It's the perfect time of year to have an orange slushy. Currently we got temperatures in the 90s. It's going on Memorial Day. And let that cool for a bit. It's already made enough ice. But uh, mm. it's very good. There you go. There's a Overview and test of an anvil ice maker and shaver with a few more cubes in there. This model number, for those curious, is a ZBS 20A. And uh, yeah, this is a very nice portable ice maker and shaver or ice shaver. So, there you go, there's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested, I'll post a link in the description. And until the next review, adios.